Hey guys, this is your name Third Street with another fantastic video on how to make your own Gmon server for your uh, favorite game. Uh, what you're going to start off in doing is going to in your internet. I use Mozilla Firefox. It's probably the best internet out there. Uh, I don't comment on which is the best, which is the best one, because I can really care less. Uh, what you want to do when you when you get into your internet, um, go into Steam Powered dot com. Could have just clicked this, but I just did it for all the noobs out there. Uh, steam powered, and then when you get here, uh, click about, and then it's all about this crap and everything. No, you don't need that. No, you don't. You really don't. And now all you need to do is go scroll down to the bottom, and then find tools, and then find Windows HLDS update tool. This is a Windows uh, tutorial, not a Linux. We don't do Linux. I don't have a Linux. Fuck Linux. Uh, Windows. So I'm gonna save it. Um, okay, I want to run it. I agree. Next. Uh, okay, what you want to do now is whatever uh, whatever drive you want to put it in, uh, just find out your drive. Uh, if you don't know what drive you are, there's somewhere here, but there are like other ones. So the big flop one, that one looks like a like a steel brick. It's a hard drive, so I'll click that, and then you just want to delete all of this except for the C, the coal one, or whatever it is, and then the, uh, the little slash, you slash, slash, slash thing. Uh, don't, don't delete that. So, um, what you want to put in now is S R C D S. Once you're done with that, just press OK, and then press next, next, and then put wherever you live. I am in the West Coast. Um, I don't really need to do that, sorry. Um, okay, now that you're done with that, you need to go into CMD. If you don't know how to do that, just find CMD by uh, going to run CMD. So then when, once you're there, uh, I'm going to go into this another uh, website called Gmod Dedicated Server. Uh, just dedicated server setup. Windows dedicated server setup. This is a Windows tutorial, so shut up. I don't care about the Linux. Um, now, just copy and paste that into that, and then it'll get the most recent one of this. And then, uh, okay, cool. When that's done, uh, go down a little bit more. Then there's going to be this stuff. Copy, and then minimize this real quick. And then right click on your um, your little desktop right here. Click uh, go down to new and then n new text document. Uh, don't worry about it, calling it yet. Just uh, when you're done, um, just go into it, I guess. Then just paste it all. Uh, save as, and then you can put in um, update dead big. Kated, wait, what? Did it kated? No. Kated server dot bat, and then uh, just press save. Make sure it's bat, or else it won't recognize it. I'll just delete that now because it's already right here. Let's exit out of that, and then let's run this. And after this, it's going to take a long time. See, this, this will take a long time. I recommend you do something else. It's going to download all of this crap. So, um, I'll see you when it's done downloading. The stuff has been da done downloading. And it's been downloading for the, ba the past three hours, I think. Um, it's press any key, key to continue. So, I'm just going to press any key to continue. Um, I'm going to go back into Mozilla Firefox. Um, when you do this, um, when it loads up, uh, you'll want to go back to Gmod, Dead Kid Server, and then Windows again. Unless if you already have it still up, um, then that's it, yeah. And then um, all you need now is that, so copy and paste that, and then go into the that I right, know not batch file I uh, go into run and then type in CMD or whatever and then uh, paste oh wait um, oh wait this is installed manually never mind sorry I'm stupid 
Um, let's close this out. Okay, um, I'm going to click on this real quick, just to see if there's anything we need to know. Um, publishing your server, okay, so there's all this crap and everything to publish your server. Um, all this crap, all this crap, all this crap, all this crap, all this crap. Um, if you don't know how to do any of this stuff, don't worry about it. It's really not that big of a deal. Find some other tutorial on how to do it. Um, here is what it is. Uh, if you have 2 bit megabits uh, internet connection, uh, you can have like 64. So test your internet. You can go to speed test and then click on the first one, speedtest.net. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, then it should locate where you are. Um, see, there's my IP. Um, why don't you choose San Diego? So choose whatever whatever location in the city was was closest to you. So San Diego was closest to me. So that's my. Uh, it's pretty much 15.54. So yeah. Um, now it's going to do an upload speed. You really don't need to upload, but it's. I guess if you want to find that out, then you can find that out too. Um, my upload is not doing that well at all. Okay. Do, 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 do. I don't really know. Um, okay, close that. Um, compare. I guess I'm just gonna compare with everybody else's maybe. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to. Um, okay, I forget this crap. Uh, so I got 15 point, uh, 15.43, and uh, so I'll be able to at least run like I can run like a one, uh, a 128. So uh, if you have like like a uh, Verizon files, you'd probably have one of these too. Well, not really. You'd be able to like play like you'd have to. You'd be able to play a really big server. Um, but also, the thing that really contributes to it is this up here. Or what we talked about earlier, uh, your recommended specifications for a 10 slot server. Make sure it at least right, does that if you're going to have like a 32 slot or whatever. And then for port forwarding, uh, I'll have a um, I'll post a comment in the strip. Right, I'll post something in the description showing you my next port, uh, my port forwarding video. Um, real quick, I'll just show you real quick. Before you can start your server, you have to uh, have certain ports forwarded to your router. You must first obtain your internal IP by uh, start run. So start run, then diet CMD, and then a little black box popping up. Mine's yellow. What now, bitch? IP config. Just type in IP config, and then that'll come up. And then, so your default gateway is right here, so it'll be 192.168.1.1. So I'm just going to type in 192.168.1.1. And then usually it's ADMIN, and the password, I'll put it up here, P-A-S-S, -S, password 1. So P-A-S-S-W-R-D-1. And it does have like multiple things, like it's something about the router, it just does that, so... If you type it in right, then don't worry about it. Um, okay, whatever, I don't really care. Uh, go into firewall settings. And then uh, DMZ host. Mine, if you need to find this out, if you don't know it, uh, what IP your computer is, your, my IP is 7, so I will put in 7. So yeah, um, that's the easiest way to do port forwarding. Um, so yeah, uh, now starting your R RCDS. Um, wait, did I even do that right? Hold on, let me check something. No, I did not. Okay, there we go. Apply. Okay, now you can close that. Um, okay, now that we can do this, uh, we can go into what well, we close that, and then press new, and then a text document, and then go back into here and copy all of this and then paste um, okay there you go um, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Okay, now uh, gmod server dot bat. Save it, and then as a bat file, so you just put bat at the end. Um, after that, it comes up like this. It's, uh, same thing, I think, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Now, the server would start on a construct map at port 27035 to connect to the server. The cell phone, like, you would enter blah, 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 blah. So, that's your computer, your computer, your router, and then whatever computer, like, whichever connection you're on, and then the port number is right here. So, um, if you were to connect to mine, mine would be, um, I'll put it up here. 192.168.1.7 and then that would be what you connect to and then I put in 27035 and that would be the port then you connect and then you're pretty much like that and then you're done um, after you're done you need to put in a server config easiest way to do this is just to press uh, right click on it save link as and then put server.cfg and then save it. Do, 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 do. Nope, nope, I didn't even do that right. See guys, I really fail at doing this. Oh my gosh, no. I hate Mozilla now. It's messing me up. Mozilla, you're messing up my video. Server.cfg. There you go. Okay. Now that you got server.cfg, um, I'm wait, I'll wait for this to download. Um, it seems like it's going to download any minute now. Okay, um, sweet. Okay, now I exit out of that. And then now you got your server.cfg right here. Now what you want to do is go into your computer. And then your computer, and then our SRCDS, Orange Box, and then Gary's Mod, and then CFG. And then you'll grab the little server thing, just drag it in there. If you ever want to change any of the things, uh, like the prop limit, just change that. All that crap. Wire. Um, if you want to put in SVN, find an SVN on like a SVN video on YouTube how to uh, how to put it in. Um, if you ever bought a server from like um, from like a hoster, like. Uh, like lowpings.net or whatever um, it, you know how like you would have seen the, um, the little control panel when you do a dedicated server it does not have the control panel you could buy a control panel but it's like 99 bucks so have fun buy, pay 99 bucks just to have a control panel for your server um, I think this is it this is your new third street signing off thank you subscribe favorite.